Shalom, giving all praise and hand. glory unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Akakadash, and double honor to the apostles, elder bishops, and brothers from the land of Great Millstone. Salutations to the whole free leg. This is your brother Rai Ban Yamyan here to share another lesson. This one will be called He Just Wanted to Kill Someone. Now I'm gonna show you how you know the judgment of the Lord, you know, come it as a you know as a thief in the night, man. And that you know we need to, to to be ready and this lesson is you know for the whole field like you know to get you to repent to put you in a spirit of um repentance because the day of the lord you know come as a thief and you know in the night you know just as um how you know a natural thief he wouldn't announce to the um to his you know target you know coming at 10 35 at night you know what i'm saying no you know the the target is gonna prepare you know they're gonna lock the doors they're gonna you know be more circumspect might even have a gun or whatever but in the spirit you know i mean we do that by you know repenting offending less you know praying fasting and trimming always you know i'm gonna get that um real quick in the book of thessalonians uh first thessalonians chapter five and um, verse 2, and I'm going to show you in the video clip that the woman, she didn't expect to be taken out like that because, you know, to un to unsuspecting eyes or, or carnal eyes, that she's living a good life, she's taking care of her family, you know what I mean? She's doing everything good. Why would the Lord, you know, take her out? But this is uh, First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2, and it says, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord cometh as a thief in the night for when they shall shape peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh forth cometh upon them and travail upon a woman with child and they shall not escape right so great pains man so you, even though this is talking about you know also the destruction of the society the end of one life you know it sings a similar song you know i mean you're going about here you know you're thinking everything's good everything's sweet I'm going to go to this place and I'm going to come back and I'm going to chill, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I'm going to meet up with this person. No. You understand? That is not the route the most I have for us. You know what I'm saying? So we may go out and never come back in, man. You know what I mean? So this is our opportunity. This is our window, um, you know, to repent while the most high is, um, you know, mercy his his hand of mercy is still extended his uh, hand of grace is still extended all right so our, our reference you know offending less that would be um in the book of Sirach chapter uh, 17 and 25 and it says this is Sirach 17 and 25 and it says return unto the Mosai and forsake thy sins Make thy prayer before his face and offend less. So every day, you know, you're trimming, you're trimming, you're trimming. You know what I'm saying? Whatever, um, you know, like bad habit and stuff you may have, right? You're trimming, you know, your ways. So, you, you know, in return, it will anger the Lord less than you have. He would have mercy upon you. So I'm going to play the clip in man, you must, and you're going to see for yourself what it is I'm talking about. All right, so this is WW. LTV News says Uber driver killed by a passenger who decided to kill someone. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Cherie Skipson. Today, the Jefferson Parish Sheriff announced an arrest in the murder of an employee of the New Orleans Police Department. She was also an Uber driver who had no idea she was being targeted by a man who intended to kill someone. Anyone who responded to his request mm -hmm. for a ride. Meg Ferris has been following all of today's new developments and joins us live now. Meg, this is such a tragic story. Well, uh, I want to read to you a tweet by uh, Wendell Pierce. It says, Yolanda Dillon, my church member for decades, a woman with a heart of gold and a deep love of God, was murdered yesterday. The murderous violence of New Orleans and this country has come even closer to me personally. We are in crisis. You can't just go take nobody life. Somebody who not doing you nothing, just take their life. 
That's my only child. I don't have no daughter. When your child leave in the morning, you expect to see him come back, you know. Edna Dillon is living with cancer. Her only child, Yolanda Dillon, was everything to her. She took very good care. She made my groceries and cook and and I bought everything, you know. She took paid all my bills and things. So he just left me with nobody, you know. Yolanda was fifty-four a breast cancer survivor. She lived with her mom and was one step away from getting her PhD in sociology. She was driving Uber to make extra money for tuition costs and all the Christmas gifts for family and church children. She was on an Uber run and JP Sheriff Lapinto says she picked up 29 year old Brandon Jacobs and dropped him off at the travel lodge in Harvey around three o'clock Thursday. As they pulled in, he just stabbed her from the back. You see him walk away. The next person goes to get in the Uber and sees the crime and runs back in for help. When we asked him specifically, how did you pick her? His, his response was, I didn't pick her, Uber picked her. Yeah, meaning that she was the random person that picked him up that day. Deputies arrested Jacobs of Harvey. He is charged with second degree murder. The sheriff says there is a mental health aspect to this case. He actually videotaped the, um, the incident, uh, the aftermath of the incident, posted on social media. We had to work with Facebook last night uh, to get that removed this morning. For 10 years, Yolanda worked as a fiscal budget analyst at NOPD. Chief Ferguson describes her as quiet, humble, and always positive. Truly an extremely lovely person. The team loved her. As I said, uh, we really had to uh, deal with some emotions this morning with, uh, with our staff. Now a mother wonders how she's going to go on. He took my only job. <laughs> And that was Edna, the mom, and she says that Yolanda, her only child, was born on her birthday, and she didn't know that her daughter was picking up fares to go on, on Uber. She thought she was just delivering food, like with Uber Eats. Uber Eats. Now, the funeral is going to be here um, at St. Paul the Apostle, which is in New Orleans East, but they don't have a date set yet. Um, Yolanda was very active in this church, helping the children. She was a lecturer. She did many things here, and people here are mourning as well. Reporting live from New Orleans East, Meg Ferris, Eyewitness News. Back to you. A very senseless crime and such a tragic loss, Meg. Thank you so much. Yeah, so y'all see, man. You know, even the um, mother sound like a Benjamite, but um, you know, even the mother said, you know, when you you know your child going out, you expect them to come back. You know, like I said, law commit, you know, as a thief in the night, man. You know, what I'm saying we have no charge um over this these things. It would behoove you, you know, to repent. You know, offend less, Israel. You know. And um, you know, right now, the Mosai is uh he's judging us, he's judging the, the the house of Israel first. Now, if he judge us this way, you know, can you expect what he gonna do to the heathen to whom he does not have a covenant? You know, I'm gonna get that real quick in um first Peter chapter four and verse seventeen. It says for it for the time is come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high that is you israel and if first and if it first begin at us like here what shall the end of them that obey not the gospel of the most high so this is also for the the tutors and the hidden that have not the covenant with the most high you know what i'm saying so most are judging us, man. This is why you would have a lot of, um, you know, Akiyam falling out of the truth, you know, because he is sifting or something first, you know, and he's also judging those that don't know the Lord, you know, like the, the, you know, the clip just said, you know, the woman had a deep love for the Lord, but she don't know the Lord. If she knew the Lord, she would know that she, you know, was an Israelite, right? Because the mother sounded like a um, Benjamin, so she might be Judah or Benjamin uh, from the father. 
right? She would know she's an Israelite and she would follow the laws, commandments, and statutes and get in line with what the Most High wants. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, you know, from outside eyes, it would look like, you know, she's a God fearing person. You know, she take care of her mom, pay her bills, you know, do this, do that, you know. But the Most High don't require that. He require um, repentance. He has to take care, you know, of what you need to take care of and who you need to take care of, you know. But our first, um, what's that word? Loyalty is towards um, the Lord. And we do that through our action, through our behavior, and also in the way that we think. All right, you know. But that guy, he, the spirit that, you know, they said he was, uh, he had a mental issue. You know, he was plagued in mind. And the most I use him through a spirit, um, you know, for ve creative vengeance to judge that woman. You know? Because things don't just happen, you just for happening sake. Alright? This is, um... Sirach chapter 39... So, yeah, chapter 39 and verse 28. <clears throat> it says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on soul strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force, yeah, that judgment, man, and appease the wrath of him that made them. So, that is the Mosai. So, they are pleased. They, they, they jump. When the Mosai send them to bring a spirit home, they jump to, um, to go and do it. You know what I'm saying? They jump to go and do it, you know. So as they quickly move to do the judgment of the Lord, we should be quickly move, you know, to repent, offend less, you know, pray whatever situation that you have a problem with that is um, disturbing your walk with the Most High. You know, keep praying and stuff like it. You know, fast if need be, and pray that He have mercy, you know, upon you, you know, in these times that we are living in. But um. Let's see. The last scripture I'm, uh, I'm going to share is that no one is innocent. Like I said, on the outside, the woman look, you know, innocent, you know. And this is another reason why people is going to lose a lot of faith because they're going to see stories like this and they're going to think like that the Mosai is wicked, man. But nobody perish being innocent, you know. As they say, in, um, let me get that and close it out in the book of Job. <laughs> <clears throat> four and seven it says remember i pray thee whoever perish being innocent or where would the righteous cut off right so this is speaking of you know over times you know all the prophets and stuff of the, uh, of the past you know the most i didn't just you know judge them you know they follow the most high laws, commandments, and statutes, and he loved them for it, and he gave them, you know, life. You know, at the end of the day, this is all the most high story. So, if you want us, especially in the end, you know, some of us, you know, maybe, you know, maybe kill for the word's sake. That is, if that is what he want, you know, so you know, so be it. But what I am saying is, the way this woman is, is, is judged, the most high doesn't like something about her. You know, so he loved his prophets, right? And they had life. They had their mission. They did what they did, and you know he called their their spirits back in the manner that he wanted. All right, so we had to live a clean life as much as possible, keep our garments white, you know, as our elder um, says in camp, you know, keep your garment as white as possible, you know, and offend less, offend less, offend less, offend less. So, you know, all within this lesson was edifying, man. You know, I came and I caught. This is your brother Rai Banyamian. Until next time, I'll see you shallow one.